not here to promote a religion or a religious program or a religious organization. Religion can only reform a person. I'm here to talk about Jesus and the story of Jesus because Christ literally transforms. The gospel of Jesus can change your life. It can change your family. It can change your country. It can change your world. The gospel is so important that it's mentioned no less than 93 times in the New Testament. I think that most of you know that the New Testament was written in Greek originally. And in the Greek, the words, the gospel, is pronounced euangelion. Euangelion. This phrase in Greek means good news. Good news. Somebody say good news. How many of you know we need some good news today? We live in a time of negative news and bad news. We're always hearing something bad. We're always hearing something frightening. We need some good news and that's the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is why I'm so honored today to have the opportunity to come to a place like this and very simply share the gospel. We need for people to share the message of the gospel in this time that we are living in so desperately. There's so much trouble in the world and so much violence in the world. This is why I'm so thankful I have the opportunity to speak to our police officers and our governmental leaders and our firefighters and our public servants and I honor you today and I want you to know that I'm praying for you and I pray and support our public servants who are in harm's way day after day and I just want to say per publicly thank you thank you for your service we need you in this time because these days are evil there's so much evil and violence in the world and poverty and death. These are what the Bible calls the last days. Jesus said a lot about these times that we're living in. He said in the last days there would be devastation and destruction around the world. We're living in the last days before the rapture of the church. And these are fearful, sorrowful times for unbelievers. But for the church, these are exciting times. Because this is our moment to shine. Jesus said in the last days before he comes, there would be worldwide war and rumors of war. Right now, conflicts are engaged worldwide. Tomorrow we leave for the Middle East. And there's great unrest in the Middle East right now. Many parts of the world know about war and rumors of war. It's a day of sickness and disease. The result of war and rumors of war are poverty and pestilence. It has become a day of poverty and a day of pestilence. Jesus said that in the last days there would be signs like earthquakes and natural disasters. Did you know there are more earthquakes now than ever before? More natural disasters now than ever before. There are signs in the sky and signs under the ground. Jesus said that in the last days trouble would come upon the world like labor pains come upon a woman about to deliver a child. This is why millions around the world feel helpless and hopeless. Many are overwhelmed with fear. They're living in spiritual darkness and many are looking for peace and hope. And I wanted to come here today and tell you that even though we're living in a very dark time as far as society is concerned, you don't have to be afraid. There is peace even in this day of trouble and there is hope even in this hour that seems to be hopeless. Jesus is the answer. Hallelujah. Jesus is the answer. Politics isn't the answer. Education isn't the answer. Financial stability is not the answer. Fame is not the answer. 
Fortune is not the answer. Jesus Christ is the answer. Amen. Hope, peace comes by accepting Jesus as your Savior. Before I close today, I want to encourage you to focus on Jesus. Look to Jesus. Make Jesus the Lord of your life. Make Jesus first priority in your life and open your heart and your life to Jesus Christ. He is our hope. I want to speak to you here this morning, those of you who are troubled, you're overwhelmed in fear, you're fearful about the times, you're fearful about the trouble that we're dealing with, maybe you're anxious about what the societies of the world are dealing with, this is no time to be fearful, very simply look to Jesus. Look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And then rise up and go into the world. And share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to others. 